Uh, my name is Nani Blanchard. I was born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. So I'm half Scottish, half American, but 100% Kenyan. <laughs> Um, I went to the International School of Kenya. I was here from pre-K all the way to 12th grade, the only one in my graduating class who was here all 14 years. So. My most memorable moments about being an ISK student is uh, representing our school on our international sports trips. So I see a tournament either in Uganda, Ethiopia, Tanzania, South Africa, Zambia, or Zimbabwe. Um, being an ISK Lion, going out to these places is so special. Uh, and I'll obviously always remember when we would win, but especially when we won at home, at ISK, basketball tournament in 2012. That was also very special. At the moment, I am starting my grad school uh, to become a school counselor in international schools. So that's following on from my undergrad uh, in school in psychology. Um, I'm working at ISK, volunteering as an intern uh, in the K through 12th grade counseling department. So that's really cool to be back here working with all the students and also seeing all the teachers that used to teach me that are still around. So ISK taught me several things um, and to prepare me for my career and my life, I think one of the big things was that ISK encouraged me to be a leader um, and to take on responsibilities. Uh, moreover, ISK offered me opportunities for leadership, um, for being presidents of clubs, and also for initiating programs, uh, which, get, which gave me experience in running workshops, um, coordinating with outside programs and, and organizations, um, jumping through the administrative hoops that I need to to make a program get off its feet, advocating for myself, others and my and my program um, and these were these were very important for me becoming um, a young professional going out into the world another way that ISK prepared me for my life after school um, and my career is I was always encouraged to be myself um, whether it's flaws or the, the ma amazing things about me um, I was always encouraged to ask for help when I needed it but also step up when I felt comfortable to um, and I like to think that I'm now trying to do that as well encouraging the psychological health and well-being of people around me but also empowering people to feel confident. There is no shame in taking a year to figure out who you are as a young adult to regain your energy for the things that you're passionate about in life to take a moment to, to try new things, to explore, to, to volunteer, to work, to save up. Um, and it doesn't have to be because something went wrong. Uh, as a person that took a gap year, I think, I think it should be for everyone. You know, I, I chose to defer for a year, and I think it was the best decision I, I made. So I definitely would say, definitely consider it. You know, there's no rush to go into a career. You wait, you figure out what you're passionate about, and then you'll inevitably be better because you love it. Uh, lastly, I think, especially at ISK, enforcing that sense of community and just saying, especially now in these tough COVID times coming out of lockdown, there's no stigma, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to ask for help. There's people in your community, people around that care so deeply about how you are and how you're feeling um, and the things that you're struggling with. Um, so I know obviously through the counseling department we, we love to push for that, but I think on a personal level the ISK community is not just at school, it's, it's all over the world. I know people everywhere on the planet and I feel so lucky to have that, to know that I can go anywhere, I can reach out to many friends and that that community hasn't gone away.